Hi everybody, I'm Vivek. Uh, I work on KXX KDUMP. So Secure Boot disabled KXX KDUMP. So I started looking at how to make it work. KDUMP was uh, really important for us and for some people KXX too. So, so the basic problem is Secure Boot doesn't want any unsigned code to run at privilege level zero. And KXX loads the new kernel. And KXX also has a small binary blob which it prepares and loads and that's that runs at privilege level zero, and that's where we first jump, and then the transition happens to the new kernel. So, so like as a solution, like two approaches are being discussed. Initially, long back, Matthew suggested that why don't you pull everything inside the kernel, uh, just like modules, and verify the kernel signature. Anything which is that binary blob is doing, do everything inside the kernel. So practically what happens, whatever we are doing in SBIN key exec, everything effectively gets rewritten and pulled into the kernel. And Eric Biederman, who is a, right now he doesn't seem to be here, he's a maintainer of key exec. Uh, he, he said like, I don't like the approach very much, so how about trying something different? And he said like, how about we extend this chain of trust to user space? So trust the SBIN key exec binary and verify the signature of SBIN binary sorry, KXX binary, and then KXX can do the signature verification of the new kernel being loaded. So, so what I went ahead, like I implemented uh, as a proof of concept patches for the second approach. Uh, so sign SMIN KXX, verify the signature of the binary uh, at exact time, and then uh, uh, KXX verifies the signature of the new kernel being loaded. So, uh, I just talked to Greg, and Greg also seems to like uh, this approach of that pull everything into the kernel. So like rest of my slides are about how did I go ahead and implement trusted the user space and what were the issues. So maybe this will be one point to discuss about that, which way should we go? If people have thoughts that pull everything into the kernel or try to extend the root of trust to user space. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, so like, uh, if that is the case, if agreement, like, I can try like the second approach also and try to come up. Yeah, like yesterday I could find him, but I didn't see him today. Did you see him today? So, like, I wish that he was in this room because he he didn't really like the idea of pulling everything into the kernel. So, I really wish he was here to. Okay. So, okay. So, so in this case, so if we happen to do that, we just probably create a new system call, put all the SMIN key exec code effectively there, and slowly over a period of time deprecate all the code which whatever we are doing in SMIN key exec. That's how at least we'll have to do. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll go ahead and explain all these crazy options. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, so like the way we thought that probably we are not going to sign all of the user space, so like there will be just this binary as being k-exec, which will be signed. So if that's the case, we need to make sure that none of the unsigned applications running can modify this binary. So we need to disable any kind of p-trace uh, from unsigned applications to signed ones. Uh, the other thing was like, then we should not be able to, because we are not trusting root, we should not be swapping any of the components of this executable. And otherwise, root can possibly go and scribble something on swap. So that means that signed applications, you also need to mem lock down in memory, and no swapping happens. Uh, Now 
Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So, so line is like for exec, if the exec, I cannot overwrite that file. For MAP libraries, I can do that. Can I? Because I tried during exec, try writing to that file, and I get e text busy that you cannot write to this file. So if I mem lock down, I cannot write to at least executable files. And that's the reason we try to build it statically. Maybe map deny that. It was we are setting that flag internally, I think, if I remember correctly. And that's what denied writing to the file which is being executed. No, but you know that the file we're writing for, and I don't think exec actually tests whether it's all in the Maybe it does test. But if you write it to the usual block device, it will pass the file. Or then it won't, yeah. But then it won't automatically go to the mapping. Or maybe guaranteed to. Okay. And then if you disable P trace and you disable S trace and you disable everything like that, then it might be all not scalable. How do you define binaries? Do we have to define binaries in the do you do any good for that? No, no, all of it's the we well we have all of this. So you have the LSM module and you put the LSM module to produce that thing from happening. So um it's tied in Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So keeping it simple means just pull everything into the kernel. Whatever S Winky executes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So you can so you know what to do with it. Okay. Okay, I can try that. <laughs> That's not a problem. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we statically linked at least as min key exec because some time back I was seeing that discussion. We took away the map deny write from user space. And so while the by shear library is mapped, anybody can write to it. And so dynamically linked application couldn't be trusted. And at least for this, we went ahead with IMA signatures. So sign the file, store the signature and security uh, IMA exceters. And during exact time, we just call some of the existing IMA hooks and possibly introduce new ones uh, for doing signature verification. So for example, IMA, the security hook currently verifies the signature before file exactly, sorry, file gets mapped currently. And because the file can be modified after that. So we thought that let's first map the whole file, mem lock into the memory, and now nobody can write to it. Now do the signature verification. On so the file or on, the uh, on the file. But because everything is in the memory, anywhere you're going to read everything from page cache we are, when we are try, trying to read it, because it's mem locked. So that was the idea. And that protects you against raw writes also. And so the next step was, okay, we trusted kexec. Now, Aspen kexec needs to verify the signature of busy maze being loaded. So how do we do that? All the keys are with kernel. Rest of the user space is not signed. So 
I just extended the key control system call with a new option, and I just read in the bzms file into the user space buffers. Every, again, everything is logged into the memory, and just pass this buffer along with signature to the kernel, and the kernel just verifies the signature using the system key ring of the bzms. And if the, that six signature verification is successful, kexec goes ahead and calls a kexec load, and new kernel is loaded. And this was another thing, if we happen to do this, right now kexec does not work very well with the EFI. We just disable CFI in the second kernel, don't make any EFI runtime calls. But at least from secure boot perspective, one requirement was in the second kernel, we should be able to import all the keys which are in DB, and so that anything signed with those keys can be loaded in the kernel. Uh, Sorry, I. We need to get the proper state of the advice for the FDS and the entire runtime. Yeah. That is a problem. Yeah, it wants to do. It would be nice to have a very good one. I don't think this is the only one that I would call it. So, like, on this particular problem, like, Recently, there were discussion like Boris from Suze. He seems to be working that map uh, e EFI as a particular fixed virtual addresses so that the second kernel can simply boot, create those mapping again at the fixed virtual addresses, and then we don't have to pass those mappings to the second kernel and don't call set virtual address map whatever that call is in second kernel. That way, second kernel should be able to just make the EFI runtime calls in the second kernel. And that should sorry.
Uh, okay, so in terms of slides, this is my lights last slide. Okay, so it's just something like Maju just append the signature at the end. The news. Mm -hmm. But maybe in the new method, we have the same problems of races with respect to signature verification because like we don't protect against the raw rights. So like while you are reading and calculating the hashes, somebody can do the rights to that module file and signature verification might still be fine. So like there are races windows where somebody can bypass module, like signature verification. Okay. Okay. Even in the new interface, the FD one. Okay. So, so for signatures, we can BGC made signature. We can do something like modules. Just append the signatures at the end. Parse it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Okay, so except Eric, this seems to be the big consensus that everybody would like to see it inside the kernel. Our team today is discussing that more people aren't here. So, so I can, if he's not here, I can try get hold of him in the aisle if I can see him and, and yeah, I'll do that. And just go about implementing the second one now. Everything is out of the window now, whatever I've implemented so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that that's it. Thank you very much.